If you've been watching the channel, you've seen some recent videos on the new Microsoft Whiteboard. And these videos are going to become obsolete. The new Microsoft Whiteboard disappointed me and you from your comments, so I made some videos about my concerns with the Whiteboard. But guess what? Microsoft called and reached out to me. I actually received an email from the Microsoft Whiteboard engineering team. And that's the team that builds the whiteboard. In that email, they asked if I could meet with them and talk about some of the different views about the Microsoft Whiteboard, the new whiteboard, and to talk about some of the comments that you, viewers of this channel, have made. They wanted to hear directly from me, and by proxy all of you, to better understand some of the concerns we had about the new whiteboard and how we were using it to learn and teach and collaborate with each other. Well, how did that meeting go? I have some exciting news. Watch to the end of the video for a big announcement, but the meeting itself. There were four of us in that meeting and we talked for just over about an hour about the existing whiteboard, some of the features that were important in the whiteboard to myself and the audience, uh, even a little bit about features that might be useful in the future. But it was mostly focused on them listening about the concerns we had. The team was really great. They were there to listen, to understand the feedback, the comments that were being made, and it was clear that they wanted to ensure that the whiteboard would continue to be useful for all of us. And to be fair to Microsoft, I do understand what their motivation in making the changes to the whiteboard were. They wanted a consistent experience across all platforms, and I can understand that. I use the whiteboard on my PC. But I also use the whiteboard on my phone. I use the whiteboard on my iPad. I use the whiteboard on my MacBook Pro and my M1 Mac Mini. I'm even looking forward to using the Microsoft whiteboard in mixed reality and virtual reality through Altspace VR. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the whiteboard. At least for myself, I don't see the whiteboard as being just a digital version of a traditional analog whiteboard that we use in a classroom. I see Microsoft Whiteboard as a dynamic, collaborative collage, a tool where I can paste, manipulate, share, annotate, and export ideas that I present or work on with a team. I spoke to the Microsoft Whiteboard team about how I use the Whiteboard as that dynamic, synchronous teaching tool. We have a lot of tools like Sway or you know, for asynchronous content, I can create something, somebody can consume it later. These YouTube videos are a good example of asynchronous content. We have PowerPoint, which is that guided, structured, uh, you know, prepared, synchronous delivery. But the whiteboard is the tool for a dynamic, collaborative, and spontaneous type of collaboration. It's for spontaneous teaching. It's for sharing ideas, but working on those ideas together in a group. Even if I'm just presenting, it's still me presenting in a more dynamic way. If it's a whole group of us working together, well, it's a really unique tool for that. And that's why I have so many videos here on the channel about that whiteboard. It's a great tool uh, with a huge range of possibilities that I actually think a lot of people aren't even taking advantage of, especially if it does become consistent and functional across all of those different platforms that I just mentioned. Not that I'm asking for much, so sorry about that, but anyone who's seen my videos on the whiteboard, you know that I'm all about how I can use it for functional objectives, for doing great things, not just the features within Microsoft Whiteboard, but the actual ability to use it for specific purposes. Features always support function, and function is where we as educators and collaborators really make our greatest impact. I can honestly say that I absolutely felt that I was heard in the meeting, that I was respected by the whiteboard team and that they understood our concerns and that they're paying attention. I genuinely got a sense of commitment from them to build that product that not only meets our immediate needs, but unlocks new potentials in a way that we work and collaborate in dynamic environments. So the good news, I suppose, is that several of my recent whiteboard videos are now obsolete. And why is that? Because I have excellent news. Those videos were about what isn't, and I wanna make videos about what can be. So I look forward to making some more positive whiteboard videos that show new and exciting ways to leverage the tool for better learning and teaching. What's the big announcement? Besides the sense of understanding from the whiteboard team, they also told me that they're going to roll back the existing desktop version to its previous state. 
and that gives us all our functionality. Well, they revisit some of the different functions and look at how they can incorporate that into the new product. This means that we'll be able to continue to use the workflows that we've developed and we can expect an even better new, new whiteboard later on. I'm confident that we're gonna get that and I'm confident that when that whiteboard is released, we're gonna see a lot more positive videos on this channel where I talk about the great things we can do with the whiteboard as opposed to talk about things that have been taken away. So thank you Microsoft Whiteboard team for meeting with me. I hope that everybody who's been watching my videos finds this interesting and I hope that everybody here is excited as I am for the new, new whiteboard edition that's going to come to the desktop. Thank you for watching and comment down below. Comment on what you think are the key features because Microsoft's listening. So whatever you put down below, there's a good chance that the Microsoft Whiteboard team will read it. So, uh, so that's good news too. Talk to you later in the next video.